Beginner mistakes. Um, I want to help you guys kind of avoid beginner mistakes and avoid um, mistakes that are easily made, uh, typically with newer growers. pH manipulation um, or not balancing the pH. Um, I see a lot of beginners, a lot of beginner growers, right? I help a lot of beginners, new growers. Uh, I see a lot of newer growers or or growers are trying to be as hands-off as possible using pH perfect nutrients. And that's great. I mean, that's awesome. You know, if you guys have success with them, beautiful. Um, I do still recommend though, checking the pH on a daily basis. Naturally, nutrients are acidic. They have a, a, a lower pH value from coming from nature. Um, as your plant is using nutrients, using water, it's going to take some of that acidity out of the water, acidity out of the water, increasing the nutrients pH, nutrient solutions pH. Um, so even though the pH or the nutrient nutrients you're using may mix into solution with a perfect pH, as a plant eats, as water evaporates from the reservoir, et cetera, et cetera, um, the pH is going to fluctuate. So it's still important to check your pH um, periodically, frequently, really, just to make sure things are staying within range. Um, to kind of go along with that pH, I do see a lot of growers also um, not checking their pH at all or only checking it when they do a water change. Uh, pH is something that you guys should be checking on daily. Um, ideally, once a day. You can, you know, I don't want to say over check pH, but, you know, checking three, four, five times a day um, is really not going to be beneficial to the plant. There's not going to have any difference uh, within that period of time. Usually 24 hours is a good amount of uh, space or time in between pH checks to allow the plant to use uh, water, nutrients, and by that time you may see a little fluctuation in the pH level. Um, but you guys need to make sure you check the pH daily. Um, it's good for the plant to, you know, start at a lower pH and as it uses it, the pH creeps up. That's good for the plant. Um, you want to keep it between, you know, five, five and six, but <clears throat> from with you, I like to pH my nutrients around five, five. In about 24 hours, depending on the stage and how much, how active the plant is, um, the pH is usually around 6.0, 6.1 the next day, sometimes 5.9. Um, and that's good for the plant, the plant because different nutrients are available in different pH ranges. So at a 5.5, five, the, the plant's taking up lots of nitrogen. Nitrogen is very readily available. As it gets closer to 6, more potassium, phosphorus, boron, etc. is available at the higher higher end of that spectrum around six. So it's good to let the plant go from five, five to six. If your pH is still within that range within 24 hours, within that 24 hour span, then it's okay to let it ride to the next day, but do check it every day. When your pH does get out of that range, when it starts getting up to 6.2, four, et cetera, et cetera, or below 5.5, it starts getting around five. Um, that can be very dangerous for your plant once you get down that low. Um, but what happens is the different nutrients are available at different ranges. So the plant's not uptaking all of the proper nutrients in the right ratios once you get above or below that range. So it's important to at least check it daily. Another thing I see is people trying to manipulate the pH for different stages. Oh, I did kind of touch on that already. Um, throughout the grow, you want to keep a 5.5, five, between 5.5 five and 6. Although phosphorus and potassium are more readily available, you know, around 6.0 to 6.2, you, the issue you run with that is you're going to lock out nitrogen. You're going to lock out other new, or you're going to make other new, you're going to lock it out. You're going to make other nutrients that the plant needs, especially the micronutrients, um, less available. Another issue I have with an increased pH at any time, but flowering especially, is that the, the solution is then less acidic, right? Um, less acidic nutrient solution means that there's more opportunity for bacteria, pathogens, molds, mildews, uh, root rot, all those kind of things to grow. When you run a pH of 5.5, that's fairly acidic. 5.5 uh, five is almost to the point where it gets hard for bacteria and things to live in it. So um, I always recommend running the same pH throughout the growth cycle. Do not manipulate your pH in order to try to increase certain nutrients. Um, that's one of those things where it's going to calm Car, cause more harm than good. So try to keep that new, that pH range the same between five, five and six throughout the entire growth.